Week in Review, brought to you by Trinidad and Tobago Government Communications. Ministry of National Security. To raise awareness of human trafficking, the Ministry, in conjunction with Ministries of Youth Development and National Service and Labor, along with other agencies, hosted an outreach event to observe World Day Against Trafficking in Persons 2022. Minister Fitzgerald Hines was on hands to give his remarks and engage with members of the public. Ministry of Finance. Consultations on the proposed increase in the compulsory age of retirement from 60 to 65 years continued as Minister in the Ministry Brian Manning met with the Shaguanas Chamber of Industry and Commerce, the Penal Debe Chamber of Commerce, the Saparia Chamber of Commerce, the Bankers Association of Trinidad and Tobago, the Employers Consultative Association of Trinidad and Tobago, and the Tobago Division of the Trinidad and Tobago Chamber of Industry and Commerce. Ministry of Foreign and CARICOM Affairs. Possible collaborations between this country, Nigeria, CARICOM and other African regions were discussed as Minister Dr. Avery Brown met with His Excellency Abubakar Danlami Ibrahim, High Commissioner for the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Discussions focused on framework agreements regarding immigration and visa requirements and exchanges in tertiary and other technical education and training opportunities to the benefit of the peoples of both countries and regions. Ministry of Labor in an effort to strengthen the relationship between the ministry and the International Labour Organization, Minister Stephen McClashey and other ministry officials met with Mr. Dennis Zulu, director of the ILO and his team. The ILO provides technical assistance in the various areas of labour administration to further advance the decent work agenda in TNT. Ministry of Sport and Community Development 21 families from the Digo Martin Northeast community received a total of $440,000 in home improvement grants from the National Commission for Self-Help Limited. Minister of Finance and Member of Parliament Colm Imbert was on hand to assist with the distribution of the grants. Additionally, laptops were distributed to four communities across Trinidad in keeping with the implementation of the National Policy on Sustainable Community Development, which represents a comprehensive Comprehensive and integral pathway for community development. In review, brought to you by Trinidad and Tobago Government Communications.